Hey everyone, welcome back to another Undead World Hero Survival video. Today's video, we're going to be featuring PvP hero must-haves. Okay, you heard me right. It's going to be PvP hero must-haves before you confuse yourself. So let's start off with um, looking at um, our heroes here. So we're going to start from the, from the top. Okay, just a little bit of a disclaimer. Um... This PvP, PvP suggestions are going to be ranked. Um, I'm going to suggest three per faction. Uh, I'm going to start with the third best for PvP, second best, and first best for PvP. Okay? So, I'm not saying that uh, some of these, if not, they're not included in the top three per faction, that they're not good. But again, these are going to be your star players for PvP. Okay, so let's start off with uh, Collegium. And um, for third, you're going to go with Connor. Okay, the reason why Connor is going to be third on Collegium because there are a lot of other options for your um, tank. And Connor is, is going to be your all-around defender. Very tanky, high attack, high HP. Um, going to be very good all-around defender. So... Nothing he actually fits on the average, you know, the average or going to above average in terms of if I want to scale him. But there are other important, um, what you call this, uh, heroes in Collegium for PvP. So, we're in terms of second, we're gonna go with Henry. Okay, take note that Henry is a specialist, he is a melee type hero and he specializes in. Attacking the lowest HP foe in range. Okay, he is fast, deals high damage, specializes in taking out weaker opponents, and you know dealing as quick damage as possible. He actually needs to be supported in terms of um, terms of um, survivability uh, during PvP matches. But again, he deals a lot of damage. That is why he is in number two for Collegium. So for number one for Collegium, we're going to go with Meredith, of course. Meredith um, is going to be one of your supports, which, um, again, is very, very valuable to the team in terms of how she impacts all of your members. Survivability-wise, uh, as you can see here, for all allies, defense, then um, uh, CC resistance... Oh, sorry. She also provides um, her a, po a potion. Then she provides a shield. Okay. So, um, plus tw 20 defense instead of shield. She gives a shield as well. So, that is why Meredith is actually one of your stars if you bring Collegium in your PvP lineup. So, next is going to be uh, Blue Banshees. So for Blue Banshees, number three on PvP is going to be Tyler. Tyler on his healing alone is actually going to be very tough to deal with. Um, damage, good damage as well. Um, but again, Tyler doesn't give you much aside from survivability in probably a pseudo tank. So that is why he is at number three for PvP for uh, Blue Banshees. Number two for the Blue Banshees is going to be Murray. Okay, a lot of you guys are going to be killing me if I don't put him at number one. But again, he's going to be at number two. Um, this is the reason why he's number two because again, the first, the first person. The first hero is actually better all around. Okay, so while Murray specializes, some could argue he could be at number one. But again, Murray specializes in taking out a lot of one-on-ones, one, um, high damage single target, and also a lot of, uh, what do you call this? A lot of um, uh, defensive um, spells or defensive skills like um this one the 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 mines and this one the the traps they are actually put uh, right there where your melee 
usually you know dukes it out so again murray can be number one um but the first the first hero is going to be overall be felt because of what she does okay so what i meant with the first for for blue banshee is going to be lita lita again i have a lot of lineups i've used with lita she really makes everybody excel not just herself she makes our uh, uh range heroes good she makes melee heroes good she makes aoe heroes good because of the buff she gives so as you can see here uh where's the buff so this one is going to be crucial i already have her at level three increased ally boost to plus 450 attack power that's actually incredible and it translates to all <coughs> of your heroes she's very good in terms of buffs and here uh, she also buffs all eyes twice to block one instance of incoming damage so again buffs protection she's very all around and she affects a lot in your team i tell you she's going to be your mvp for your blue banshees so next is going to be your sugar reapers for sugar reapers number three is going to be nadim number three only because um aside from his healing he also gives out candy which uh which is going to be poisonous for the opponents his healing is actually very it's not that high i noticed that it doesn't heal that much it's a small trickle um of healing that is why he is at number three for pvp uh number two for sugar reapers is going to be kieran kieran um is going to be good uh, uh he's going to be a ranged unit um this is going to be actually one of his strong suit minus 40 percent accuracy to all enemies and it's a miss okay so that's minus 40 percent. that's very big uh and also passive bleed for kieran i tell you kieran is going to be very good in pvp um tried bringing him um i unfortunately i don't have him geared up well but again he's going to be one of your best guys for sugar reapers for pvp and your number one for pvp is going to be abigail for sugar reapers just to clarify it okay abigail two in one you have a defender you have an attacker tons of damage tons of survivability um so far one of the best defenders that we have in the game and um tons of damage guys shock for enemies um additional attack overload increase in attack power you know she deals a lot of damage and is very survivable so that is why she is going to be number one for your sugar reapers for pvp next is going to be your hive so for hive number three is gonna go to tanya tanya if she is only that tough at um, her position in melee would go higher but again she, for me she she her vision is i think not enough to keep her alive it's um she actually performs best if um if uh who is this if astra is actually within the team she's gonna be very good in pvp i've used her I'll, I'll show you the lineup later that i've been using in pvp to test her out um and but without astra she's going to be she's going to be lesser of a survivor for melee your second in your uh what do you call this in your uh hive is going to be webster webster uh, simple as that sniper very long range um high damage as well that is why he's usually the last to be touched at the back so as long as you build him with high damage he's going to be a supplement damage or your main damage dealer you just have to keep people away from him so he's very squishy by the way but again if you improve increase attack speed 
he can deal a lot of damage, man. So uh, have him keep on firing. And the last and the first is going to be Gabriel. Gabriel, for me, is going to be your specialist um, for what do you call this? For uh, for PvP for Hive. Again, when um, he actually leans toward your weakest enemy and really goes for it. Breaks formation to rush distant enemies for 250 attack power. I've discovered actually a, a trick wherein if the tank is in front and he rushes through it and he dies. And if you have Astra to resurrect him, usually when he dies, the tank that is in front of him goes after your other, you know, your other heroes at the back. So what he does is once he resurrects, he goes after all of all of the rest at the back. <laughs> I saw it and I usually I actually I, I did it earlier. So again, he is a rush unit um with a good support. Um, um my support that I use for him is going to be Astra, it's going to be um Vita as well, and he is going to be very good. So he is our number one for hive for PvP. Okay. The rest you know are going to be good. So you have here Helen, of course, Helen. Um, very good attacker and also little support. She is going to be very ruthless in terms of if you build a team that resurrects. I'm going to show you guys later what my team is, what, what team that I'm mentioning. Um, next is going to be Astra. Astra, again, with the resurrection, with the debuffs that he has, is going to be valuable in any PvP team. So, um, just have to make sure that the two other heroes that he resurrects complements him as well. Okay, so let's go to the uh, con the the formation that I used for PvP. Uh, recently, the new team that I have. Let us just select one. I'm. I don't think I'll be playing this one, or I will I. Okay, so this is the team that I've been playing. For quite a while so you have here um you have your helen you have astra you have lita and you have uh both uh gabriel and tanya on the front so again very very heavy on the damage assault team and resurrect team so let's try this out i think i have one one battle in my belt so again Try to take note once they die because once they they are actually past Jones after they die, they're gonna go after the back line. So right now Jones is actually handling handling them well. Once they resurrect, once they resurrect, they're going to be a handful. So again, Lita and Astra there is going to, is going to be your support. Um, Lita with buffs, Astra with uh, with resurrection, and there you go. So you have three heroes going after your enemies with resurrection. So I'm just gonna try to build them more. I'm gonna build them up more and see if um, let's try another opponent. Okay, so this one you have also one one defender, and let's see, let's see, let's see for this one. So again, as you can see, Gabriel is actually at the back already. While the two of them are keeping, keeping, I, th I think it's Connor busy. So again, as he dies, he's gonna resurrect. And you have Tanya. You have again the resurrection is very very good because it gets you past the first defense. Then once they go forward, you move towards the end. So even though how tough the defense is, usually they get fooled. You, you you can actually bypass them. So that is actually my feature, you know, my feature team for PvP. Here is my other PvP team. So this one is more oriented on defense. Defense, defensive, weathering the storm. So again, you also have you also have their Astra and Lita. So they are going to be your main support for PvP. So again, guys, so <clears throat> hopefully I've, I've helped you with this video in, you know, in terms of mixing, mixing and matching with your PvP teams. And for those who have stuck this far, 
um, I hope you subscribe because um, this really you know helps my channel a lot. And also don't forget to click that bell icon. And also don't forget to put a like to this video. Thank you guys. Take care. Stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here.